to Gedge Business School session. I, I see my three as well. OK, so first of all, very quick agenda. This is a one hour session. You don't have to you know, get yourself bored for one hour, so I'll probably try to be very quick. Some of us have already met. Uh, so very quickly, three key agendas of this session. The first agenda is to give you a brief snapshot, snapshot about Kedge and France. The second agenda would be to um, run you through the application, right? How to apply. So I'll create a dummy applica uh, application with my own Gmail ID, and I'll let you know how you can apply with Kedge BS uh, portal. And number three would be Q&A. So if you have any questions ready, post in the chat box. Uh, in the end, we'll have a Q&A where you can also ask your questions live. Uh, so let's begin, right? So <clears throat> I'm not sure if all of us have met together before. I'll give a very quick uh, introduction about myself again. My name is Prayag. I am the country manager of the Southeast Asia for Kedge Business School. I'm based in New Delhi, and um, I'm also an alum of Kedge Business School. So I did my master's in international business at Kedge. Um, can I request everybody to be on mute for a while? Uh, thank you so much. Don't turn off your cameras, just the mics, because we would anyway have you on questions. So I did my master's in international business at Kedge 2015. Before that, I worked in India for six years. And after that as well, I have worked for six years. So altogether, 12 years of work X, did my master's in international business at Kedge in Marseille campus. Now regarding Kedge BS, I'm sure you already know, Kedge, B I, we have Yara as well. So hi, Yara. I think Yara has joined us from Lebanon. She is probably the international student that we have today. So Yara, we were just talking about, um, we just started right now. So I was giving my brief. I'll repeat myself. Um, I'm an alum of Kedge uh, class 2015. Since then, I've been representing Kedge in Southeast Asia. Now, regarding Kedge BS, Kedge is the largest French business school. I, by the way, I'm sure all of you already have enough information why to study in France, right? If you don't have information why you should study in France, give me a call after this. We'll explain again, right? Why to study in France. So talking about Kedge, Kedge BS is the largest French business school, top 10 in Financial Times rankings or any ranking for that matter in France, top 35 in Europe, top 100 globally, right? Regarding the programs, we have around 20 programs completely taught in English to international students, eight international campuses as well. So what I'm going to do is basically quickly share my screen and give you a brief presentation about Kedge. Won't take more than five minutes, so you have basic information about Kedge. So, and then we come back to Q&A, right? So quickly sharing my screen. There you go. Can anybody confirm if you can see my screen? Yeah, it's visible. All right, no, perfect. So very quickly, 36 management programs, around 200 permanent teachers, 70,000. Well, this presentation is old because as of today, we have 75,000 alumni worldwide, which is number one in France, the largest alumni network. So regardless of your location, whether you're in Lebanon, India, China, Russia, Colombia, you'll always have Kedge alumnus there. Close to 15,000 students, 277 partner universities. If I talk about India, I am Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta. All of these are top partner universities for Kedge. Around 300 partner companies where you can apply for jobs, uh, internships as well. Quick snapshot of four campuses that we have in France. So if you go to France at Kedge, probably these are the four campuses you'd be going to. Bordeaux, Marseille, Paris, and Toulon. How to choose the campuses, we'll come to that later. Four international campuses as well outside France, two in Africa and two in China. Now, I'll talk about programs, so I'll skip this slide. I'll directly take you to the website. Uh, I'll also talk about application process, scholarships. Now, let's talk about employability and entrepreneurship. So I'll take you to the website after this. Regarding employability, uh, Kedge offers you two different tracks. The first option is employability. The second option is entrepreneurship. People who are looking to make their careers abroad, especially in France and Western Europe, 95% of Kedge students find a job within four months of graduation. So you're going to a right school when it comes to jobs. How do we help you in jobs? We help you with personality development, experiential learning with internship, work ex, entrepreneurship, company projects, and workshops. Then we help you with corporate relations with different organizations across the globe. Alumni network, as I already mentioned, 75,000 alumni worldwide, you get direct access to it. 
and then foundations. For example, we have Louis Vuitton Foundation in Paris that comes to our campuses in Paris, where you can apply for internships with Louis Vuitton as well. On the other hand, if you don't want to go for a job and you want to create your own company, then we have the largest incubator at French business schools and you can create your own company and you have this opportunity to raise funds as well. Since 2014, our students have been able to raise 50 million euros in funding. So you have two options, employability, entrepreneurship. Quickly about rewards and recognition, Sketch is a triple accredited business school. I think if we have met one and one, then probably you already know what are triple accreditations. Uh, regarding rankings, again, as you see, 10, 9, 8, 7. So basically, Kedge is a top 10 French B school, top 34 in Europe as per Financial Times, and top 100 worldwide. A lot of Indian students who know about I am Ahmedabad, it's ranked 39th, and Kedge Business School is ranked 38, right? Last slide about quick salaries and positions where you can expect. So average annual salary at Kedge is around 43,000 euros, 100% students work in international positions and surprisingly which a lot, a lot of other schools may not inform is that 95 percent of our students find a job before graduation right so that was all about um the cage presentation now i'll quickly take you to the website anybody can confirm if you can see the website of catch bs on your screens yeah okay perfect thank you so this is the cage website homepage student.kedge.edu now there are millions of things and you would be confused so the simplest way is click on programs on top and there you go you have all these programs where you can apply for for your master's program so for example let's say uh, so there is one mba which is called masters in management if you want to go for mba or mim and then there are undergrad programs like kedge bachelor ibba and then there are master's programs. So all of these are master's programs. I'm sure we already discussed during the fairs when we met that all of these are specializations. And if you want to, and I'll, so now there are 20 programs. Now you would be confused which program to go for. So I'll quickly give you career opportunities for all of them, just in one sentence. So if you want to make a career in arts, creative industries, you should go for this program. This program is for auditing and taxation. Banking and finance is for people who want to make a career in investment banking. Business transformation, sustainability is for people who want to work in CSR, ESG. Corporate finance is for people who want to work in mergers and acquisitions. Data analytics is very simple if you want to work in data science with business analytics. Digital marketing is for people who want to make a career in Facebook analytics, Google analytics, Instagram, Twitter kind of platforms. Entrepreneurship, you already know what is it about. International business is for people. Well, I did this, so I can definitely explain. This is for people who want to make a career in international sales or international marketing. Then we have trade and logistics. This is for people who want to uh, make a career in transportation road logistics. Then we have supply chain. As the name suggests, if you want to make a career in supply chain, you can go for this one. Purchasing, if you want to work in industry as a buyer. Marketing, if you want to work in fashion, luxury, brands. Wine, if you love wine, not just drinking, but also making a career in it, then this is the program. Sports, very simple. If you want to work with the best sports organizations in a sport management role. Sustainable finance, again, with working with public companies in their ESG department for finance. Hospitality is hotel management. These are the only programs that you have at KedgeBS where you can apply for in case you want to pursue a master. So that's all about Kedge. That's all about the programs. Now I'll take you through a couple of things which may be very interesting for you. And anyone, again, so we have a lot of programs. Okay, anyone, just anyone, unmute yourself and tell me which program should I open. My favorite is international business, but you tell me. And I'll open that and I explain everything for everyone. Anyone? Banking and finance. Banking and finance. Okay, let me click on banking and finance. And by the way, People who are not interested in banking and finance, you can also expect some common things. For example, here on top, you can apply, you can download brochure, but here you see overview, curriculum, careers, and funding. For example, if you want to know what subjects are going to study in this program, then you should click on curriculum. Okay, and I'll explain that again. And this is for every program, international business, supply chain. So let's click on curriculum. Okay, and there you go. 
you go scroll below and you have the subject semester one, semester two, and I already told you during the fairs, you have a six months internship, right? This is how you check that curriculum. Simply when you click on careers, there you go. These are the kind of careers that you can expect out of this program. Asset management, risk management, private equity, venture capital. These are the sectors where you would be working, right? And then you click on admission and funding. And then you'll be able to see this. Tuition fees for first year, tuition fees for second year. And on the same page, you'll be able to see scholarships. 10% early bird scholarship for everyone who applies before February, 4,000 euros of scholarship if you write an essay, right? This program is also funded by Prodigy Finance, so you can get a collateral free loan. Now, the thing that I wanted to tell you is regardless of the program that you want to go for, whether it's banking or arts or international business, same way you can find the information about your curriculum, programs, funding and scholarships. Is that clear? OK, now let me show you something. I hope you can see Kedge tracks. Can anybody confirm you can, if you can see Kedge tracks? Yeah. Yes, we okay. can. All right, perfect. Now, I explained some of you in the fair what are tracks. Tracks is basically duration of the program. In yeah. India, we have a two year masters. In France, we have three options, especially at Kedge. And let me explain how. So the first year is always called first year of masters M1. Second year of masters is always called always called M2, right? Now there are three different options. The first option is long track, second option is condensed track, and third option option is short track. What are they? So long track is always two years, twelve months of first year, twelve months of second year. Condensed track is one point five year. First year is only four months, and second year is twelve months. And the third one is short track. There is no first year, only M2, right? Intakes, long track starts in September, condensed track starts in June, short track starts in Jan and September. Now, but you'd be thinking which track is right track for me, so you should check the eligibility. You can see here, if you have a three years undergrad, whether it's a BBA or BCA or whatever your undergrad is, if it is three years, and you have less than five years of work experience, then you, you only have two options, long track or condensed track. Clear? I'll repeat myself again. If you have a three year undergrad and less than five years of work experience, you are eligible for long or condensed and we let you choose. For example, let's say who are here. Let's say Anirudh is there and Neil is there, right? So let's say Anirudh says, I want to go for long track. And Neil says, I want to go for condensed track. Of course, you can go for it because you guys are eligible for both of them. Now, who's eligible for short track? People who have a four year undergrad or more than five years of work experience, they are eligible for short track. For example, let me pick a few names, Maitri and Harsh. Let's say Maitri has a B.Tech degree and Harsh also has a B.Tech degree. So both of them have four years of work experience. Maitri has five years of work experience and Harsh has no work experience. In both the cases, you guys are eligible for short track because you have a four year degree. Clear? OK, now people might. So what about those who I have, have a question? Yes. Yes, who has a question? Yes. If I have four years of the degree and four years of work experience, where am I? Where do I, I was, fit best? I was about to answer that, so let me explain that here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry. Thank no, you. No, no, it's absolutely fine. OK, so if you have any question, just unmute and ask your question. But of, of course, you can post in chat as well and we have the Q&A. So regarding so this work experience is considered at the time you are joining the program. And when are you joining the program? If let's say Yara is going September 2023. So by September 2023, she must have five years of work experience. So let's say if she has four years and two months right now, probably in next September, she would have five years. Clear, Yara? Is there is 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 it still fine or you still have some queries?
It's good. Thank you. OK, perfect. Now let's talk about other criteria, which is fees. OK, so long track and sh condensed track. Both of them are two years. Of course, in condensed track, you can finish in 1.5 year. So the tuition fee at KEDGE for first year is always 8,900 euros, right? So for long track, it's 8,900 euros plus M2. Condensed track is also 8,900 euros plus M2. But short track, there is no M1. So there is no 8,900. It's always the M2 fees. When it comes to recognition, all these three degrees are recognized worldwide because it's a triple accredited B school. Stay back visa. Some of the students might be thinking, OK, if I go for one year program, I'll get two year stay back visa or not. Regardless of the program at Kedge, regardless of the duration at Kedge, your stay back visa is always two years. Now, let me tell you, this two years of stay back visa is for Indian students, right? So Yara, you need to check with your campus France and Lebanon. What is the stay back visa for Lebanese students? in France after they graduate from Kedge, OK? Yes, OK. All right, perfect. Now let me show you something about Kedge dates. I hope you can see this. So as I said, there are three intakes, Jan, June and September. Jan intake is already gone. For June, the deadline is March 31st. And for September, the deadline is June 30. So you have plenty of time. However, in case you apply before February 28, which is the last day of February, you all qualify from a 10% early bird discount. So let's say if your tuition is, what, 10,000 euros, you save 1,000 euros. If you apply before February for both June and September intakes. In June, you have all M1 programs except sports. And in September, you have all programs. Clear? OK, so so far I have covered the presentation. I have covered the programs, tracks, scholarships, and I have also covered the tuition fees. Any guess, any questions so far? Otherwise, we move forward. Any questions? Anyone? Yes, I have a question. Yes. When we want to apply for, for a scholarship, we just have to write a letter of why we need uh, a, a scholarship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yara, in a few minutes from now, what I'm going to do is I will create an application and I'll show you how you can apply for that as well. So I'll cover that in that. But regarding okay. the early bird scholarship, there is nothing that needs to, to be done. Any student who completes his or her application before February end, all of you automatically qualify for early bird. Clear? All right, perfect. Any yeah. Anybody else has any other questions so far? Yes, I have a question. Yes. Um, at the educational fair, so I had, like since I've done three years of graduation plus I'm pursuing another master's at the moment, yeah. I can, I am eligible for, like I might be eligible for the yeah, yeah. only M2. All the students who are doing masters, you already add two years of higher education. So that qualifies as okay. four or five. So that's not a okay. problem. People who okay. already are doing a master's or have already completed a master's, they are also eligible for M2. Not a problem. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Now, if nobody has a question, can we move to the application part? Application form? Yeah. OK, let's move to the application form. How do we apply? It's very simple. You click on any program. Let me s apply for international business. OK, so I click on international business. And. Um, just a second. OK, I would need to create a dummy account. OK, and I just need somebody who is on a laptop right now because I already created a dummy account today with my own email and they would not accept my catch BS email. So anybody who wants to share yeah. his email, just the email. Yes. Oh, Yara, I uh, and, and please don't share your email that you'll be using for catch because I'm creating a dummy account. Oh, then yeah. I can't share my email yeah, yeah, because that's the email I will use. For yeah, catch. of okay. course. Anybody else who has access to laptop and has two emails, maybe Neil. OK. OK, yeah, Neil, I think you are in college, so you'd be using your college email ID anyway. Oh, yeah, I just need one. 
Okay, and I also need Neil and Harsh, both of you on video, so I can chat with you as well, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say Neil and Harsh have shared. And Neil, can you unmute yourself and tell me if you have access to laptop? All right, perfect. So let me create the account. All of you can see the screen. Click on apply. I click on apply. And this is what you see. OK, can you see the application portal? Yes. Yeah. OK, perfect. Salutation. Neil seems to me like Mr. So I'll click Mr. I'll write Neil. I'll write test random name. Just the email should be correct. OK. Neil Benoy 22 at gmail.com international India phone number or you can write. Of course, you can write any phone number. It has to be yours. I'm just going to write mine. I'm looking for India. There you go. And I'm going to write mine 9115019111. OK, that's it. You click on this, this. I'm not a robot and click on sign up. That's it. Now, Neil, you have to help me. You would have received a verification mail. So just click on that, change your password, keep the password as anything. You can write Paris one, two, three or whatever you want and just share it with me. Or I think I already logged in. OK, I don't know it was some something else. Let me click on start an application. OK, perfect. So I think it already logged in because it's a test email. So Neil, you don't need to do anything. OK, so this is what you will see once you log in. OK. Once you log in, there are two options, higher education and executive education. You are a student, you are a professional, even if and guys, this is very important. Even if you are a working professional, do not click on executive education. Executive education is executive MBA, part time online correspondence. You have to click you are a student because you are going to catch as a student, even if you are working, you are a working professional. So always click on higher education, then you are you always click a student your name and by the way in France they only use Mr and Mrs not usually miss if they you know uh, translate it in English so even if you see Mrs do not worry right because a lot of students they came a lot of girls came to me last year and they were like hey um, I saw this um, okay 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 just a second it was another application which was logged in yes just a sec yes uh, so Neil, you have to help me. It was another application which was logged in. So you have to change your password, OK, and change it to anything. Random password, Paris123, Bangalore123, and just let me know and I'll log in. And I'll explain the application process to all of you. It's very simple, very easy, but you need to know. Meanwhile, Neil is setting a password for all of us. Anybody else who has any questions? Nobody. Yeah, I had a question about uh, the English language test requirements. Yeah, so Anirudh, uh, all the international students, and this is including for you, Yara, uh, students who studied in an English medium, they don't need to take IELTS or TOEFL. However, we accept IELTS, we accept TOEFL, and we accept Cambridge test. But if you have studied throughout in your English medium, then you don't need any of these. We just need a, a medium of instruction letter from your university. In any other case, if you have Kyle's TOEFL Cambridge, it's fine. Neil, uh, were you able to set up a password for us? Uh, we can't yes, hear you. Yes. Sir, how many campuses does college have, sir? Oh, we have uh, four campuses in France. Neil, you can type the password if you have it. So Neil is helping us. So Neil, uh, I cannot offer you a scholarship, but I can definitely offer you a coffee. <laughs> OK, wow, what a password. OK, password is N123456789. OK, all right, there you go. Let's log in. OK, perfect. I hope you are all able to see the logged in portal, right? Anyone can confirm. Yes, we can see. All right, perfect. So start your application. I'll be very quick. Won't take much of your time. OK, OK, start an application. Click on higher education. Always, as I said, you are a student title, Mr. Surname. I, I It's already filled. Neil test, Neil email ID is there. 
Were you or are you a CAT student? No. Date of birth? I'll write a random date of birth. Let's say 2000. Uh, 1st January 2000. Country of birth? India. Country of nationality? India. City of birth? Bangalore. Click on next. This is the personal information page, so it's very easy. Then address, I'll write UB City 560090, India, Bangalore. You have to write your own information. Don't write this personal information again. And then you are on to the academic page. So the personal information took only less than a minute. And now you are on academic page. So diploma title, what diploma do you have? Uh, Neil, let's say Neil has an engineering degree. So I'll write bachelor's in engineering. Right? You can write your own degree. That's not a problem. Please do not write BA, BBA, BCA because people may not know the acronyms. Right? So write the full form. Field of study, technology, current okay. level of study. OK, so this is very important. I think somebody has joined in. Let me accept those students. Uh, yes, Yara, you have a question. Uh, yes, um, I have a BA in communication arts. However, my field of study is not on the list. If so I just put the if, if plastic your, if art. Your, yeah, oh. if your field of study is not on the list, then choose the closest. I choose the uh, plastic arts, uh, graphics and design. However, yes. I'm a film student. Is it yeah. OK? Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Absolutely. You choose okay. the closest. OK. Okay. Now, yes, thank current you. level of study. Now, this is very important. The current level of studies uh, for those students who are right now studying. Now, let's say if you are studying, you would already know if you are in first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year or thesis. But if you are not studying, then what should you do? In that case, just enter thesis. OK, for example, let's say um, some of you graduated already, right? So you're not a student anymore. Just write thesis because there is no option. In diploma, there are two options, progress or obtained. If you are doing it, write progress. If you are com if you have completed it, write obtained. Last diploma, was it a bachelor? Was it a grade master? Was it a master? So grade master is basically Grand Ecole program, which is common only in France, not in any other country. So you can select either of the two, master of science or grade master and or a bachelor. I'll, I'm going to select bachelor. Year of graduation, let's write 2022. School, let's write IIT Delhi. Your school name. School is not your high school, basically your engineering or graduation school. Schools town, I'm going to write Delhi. Schools country, I'm going to write India. You can write your own. And then done. Academic information is also done. So, so far, what have we done? We have done personal and we have done academic. Now we are on the languages section. This is very important. Favorite spoken language. There are only two options. I don't know why they keep only two options. So you have to choose French or English. Uh, let's say you choose English. But my recommendation would be you choose a language that you are going to study at Kedge. For example, if you're going to study the program in French, choose French. If you're going to study the program in English, choose English. Languages spoken. Let's say if I'm an Indian student and I speak Tamil, so Tamil is not here. Bengali is here, Hindi is here, so I'm going to select Hindi, but instead of that, you can select any other language as well. If you're not able to find your own regional language, select any language from your own country. And then I select Hindi and then I select the level bilingual. And then if you want to add any other language, you can add more languages if you speak. For example, Yara, if you speak Arabic or French, go ahead and add that and simply click on next. So languages part is done. Now it's talking about experience. So do you have any professional experience? OK, if you are a fresher, write zero. If you have years of experience, let's say I have one year of experience, I'll select one to two. If you have done an internship, now please be very clear. This is not talking about job. It's talking about internship. So if you have done an internship, select yes. If you have not done an internship, select no. So let's say I have did, uh, I've done an internship. I select yes. Write the company name. I'll write TCS. Job title IT analyst. City Bangalore. Country India. Sector of activity would be engineer. Um, IT and telecoms. Start date. OK, you don't need to be very specific, but at least you should know when did you uh, complete it. So I'll write first September 
end date i'm still doing it so i won't end date is also not mandatory describe your main mission now this is very important guys a lot of people i always um you know see a lot of students who complete the application pay their application fees and then they tell me hey priyag my application was rejected and i check the application they only write one line i manage accounts what is why do you want to study in france uh, because i love the country no 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 you can't be uh, writing in one line you have to be little specific you're going for a masters degree abroad right so write five to six lines of your daily tasks at this internship and then you are done have you ever done a work study placement now again very clear work study is known as apprenticeship it's not a common concept in southeast asia i'm not sure yara it's if it's a very common concept in lebanon as well if you have done a work study concept then you select yes if not select no for indian students and south asian students i simply select no click I on have no. A question. yeah uh so in case you have done multiple internships is there an option to put as many or do you just select the latest one just the latest one okay cool thanks and you mention all of them in your cv and your linkedin profile cool got it thanks now i also have a question yes when we when we want when we want to fill the the years of experience um i'm applying for 2023 so it means plus one year of experience should i put uh four years of experience or five i currently have five however no. should i put the, no i i mean I, i currently have four years of experience should i put um, four or five knowing that i'm applying next year so i'm i'm right now on the job section so i'll explain that so far i oh, was only okay. talking about internship now this is the job section professional experience fixed term contract and permanent contract what is the difference between fixed term contract fixed term contract is let's say uh mathri was hired for one year uh neel was hired for six months that's a fixed term contract but when you get a job which does not have an end date that's a permanent contract so let's say uh the question is have you ever done a fixed term contract i would say no have you ever done a permanent contract i would say yes now what you can do is you can mention the start date and end date you can leave it blank or you can mention the end date so you don't have to mention the end date because it says only completed okay so you mention the start date that's it so let's say i'm going to write emphasis job title it analyst again or this time i'm going to junior it analyst city mysore country india sector of activity it and telecom start date i'm going to mention anything let's say 7 july end date i leave it blank and another 5 to 6 lines of daily kras key responsibility areas or tasks clear that's how you define your job again to answer mathri's question if you have done two jobs three jobs five jobs just mention the latest one and then um, yes sorry for the uh, fixed one fixed contract can you just select yes and let us see what exactly oh sure sure so just click on select name. it's the same thing it's the same thing okay. company name so okay so let me write it for that matter i'll write wipro job title ita city chennai india sector of activity it and telecom now start date let's say this one end date let me write something like 2nd of november 5 6 lines of tasks and then but i usually recommend uh, people in india usually get a permanent contract but again it depends on your contract so the previous page was about your internships this page is about your job and then click on next i have a question about the fixed uh, term contract if my yes. fixed term contract was in 2020 till 2021 so it's not very recent but it's my only fixed term it's the only fixed term contract that i got can yeah. i can can i write it even though it's not very recent no 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 i'm not saying that you only have to mention the written one i'm saying if you have done multiple fixed contracts talk about the recent one but if you have only done okay. one which was done 2 years back yes. you should mention it yes okay thank you okay so into academic personal information done academic information done internships done jobs done if you have no work experience simply select no 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 the next question is program selection okay yes oh, hello yes. Yeah, which sector to choose for financial services 
again, so as I said, if you find financial sector there, choose that. If you don't find it, choose the closest. Okay. okay. All right. And one more thing, if I did my PG, so uh, like the level of diploma obtained, which to choose? If uh, PG is a master's, no? So you would yeah. mention the master's. So there were two options, grade master and master of science. You can choose either of that. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Next question is program selection, preferred language of education. Again, if you want to study in French, mention French. Most of the Indian students would be in English, so you should mention English and click on next. And now the most important part, which program do you want to study? There are so many programs. Let's say I select international business again, my favorite. So I'm going to select international business. Click on next. And by the way, you can only apply for one program. OK, of course, if you get rejected or accepted after that, you can apply for the second program. But in one application, you can only apply for one program. OK, next question is this one. Do you want to apply for 2022, 3 or 23, 4? All of you would be applying for 23, 4 because you'd be going 2023 and you'd be graduating in 2024. So please select the second option and click on next. And then the most important part. Are you going for M1? Are you going for M2? Ani 1, Ani 2 is year 1, year 2. Let's say, uh, and you already know. So I'm going to ask any random person. Harsh, what's your background? Hello. Yeah, me? Yes, yes. Harsh, what is your Hi. current level of education? So it's PGD and finance. OK, so he already has a master's. So which program should he apply for M1 or M2? M2. Exactly. M2. So, I'm, so I'm going to select I need two. That's it. And you click on next. And then he has to choose electives, whether he wants to study operations and elective doing business in Asia, Africa, India, Europe, doing business in India, Middle East, Europe. You can choose your own electives. For that, to, just to save time, let's say he wants to study luxury marketing. Luxury marketing is in Marseille, so he would choose this one and click on next. You can choose your own. I did not, I did not receive that part when I was applying to today. Oh, it's fine. I did not. It's fine. Have you already completed the, your application? No, I faced some uh, uh, technical issues, and that's why oh, no I problem. have some questions. You you create your application but today. I did not get you log yeah. in, you delete that application, you create a new application. OK, and I'm, guys, yes. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to leave my, my, my questions till the end because it's a little bit uh, like, no, it's absolutely uh, com fine. Uh, complicated. Yeah. No, no so, problem. Yeah. Okay. We can we can schedule a different call altogether after this one. OK, all right, guys. Now this is the most important part. Motivation, questions, essays, also known as statement of purpose. This is the most important thing. How did you find about Kedge? Why are you applying to this program? What are your career objectives? What do you expect to gain from this program on a personal level? Do you have any other relevant uh, professional experience? Now, this is the question I was talking about. Why do you want to study this program? People are usually writing one line or two lines. Please don't do that. Your application would be rejected. This is your statement of purpose. When you apply to Harvard Business School, there is a 500 words essay. Right, so catch business school would expect you to write 300 to 500 words essay. So again, take your time. Do not think that the application is open today, so I'm just going to submit it tonight. I'll be the first one to join catch. There is no fun in that. All of you would be going together, whether you apply today or probably applying after three months. Right, you can't fly before June or September. So take one week, take three days, four days to write this. How did you find about Kedge? You can mention fairs, you can mention internet, you can mention campus France, you can mention Kedge India office, you can mention anything. That's This is not going to be a deciding factor for your result. But next three questions, four questions for sure. Why are you applying? This is basically why Kedge? Why France? I'm going to mention here so that you remember. Why France? Why a master's? And why? right now you need to mention that so how do you answer these questions okay why are you applying to this program very simple i want to work let's say 
um, I want to study marketing, right? So my my goal would be um, I already work in marketing or I want to make a career in international marketing. My goal is to work with some of the biggest fashion houses based in Western Europe. And Kedge is one of the finest ranked programs for marketing in Western Europe. This is the one main reason why I want to study marketing at Kedge, right? Why a master's? Because I think with masters, I can gain those skills which are essential in the market today, right? Most of the jobs across the globe, they require a higher level of skills, which I'll only be getting in the masters, not in an undergrad that I have. And why right now? Because I have two years of work experience or zero work experience or five years of work experience. I don't want to waste more time. I want to go for a master's right now because I believe by the time I graduate, the market would be better for me to uh, get into the jobs, right? This is how you answer this question. Your answer could be your answer, but this is how you answer 10 to 15 lines. So similarly, what are your career objectives? Here you need to talk about your goals. Short term goal. Long term goal. OK. A lot of people say, oh, my aunt lives in Paris. That's why I want to go. Yeah, this is this is my ambition um, or probably I want to settle down in France because it's a beautiful country, right? I want to settle down in Paris. No, these answers are not the great answers. In fact, these are the worst answers, right? My goal is, as I said, the question was, what are your career objective? My career objective is to work as a senior brand manager at fashion houses like Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, blah, 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 right? And this is why I want to go for this program. You build up on that four to five lines. What do you expect from this program? OK, why anybody goes for a master's to change function, to change domain, to change geography, to upskill, to accelerate their career, to increase their salaries, right? To get into senior level management. You mention all these things. And by the way, all of you should not mention the same thing. Otherwise, they'll be like, hey, Prayag, all the students from India are writing the same answer. Your answer should be unique, right? But you should talk about skills, network, growth, industry. I have a question. Yes. Isn't, isn't why do you expect to gain the program on a personal level? And why are you applying to this program? Almost the same question, almost the same answer. No, again, so these are two different questions. And this is the beauty of these two questions. And I'll explain how. The first question is, why are you applying to this program? These reasons of yours could be different from somebody else. Maybe somebody's is stuck in their career, right? That's why they want to apply for this program. Maybe maybe somebody is not getting the growth that they want. Maybe, maybe somebody wants to work in Western Europe, right? This is something that you do not actually expect from the program. Your expectations would be different. Your expectations would be a global network, right? You're not you are stuck in the career, but that is not your expectation from the program. Your expectation is global network. Um, join the global alumni database, uh, upskill your network. So these are the kind of words that you need to mention. Right? Do you have any relevant pro professional experience? Very simple. If you have yes, explain. If you have no, explain. Simply do not write yes or no. OK, so this is the make or break part statement of purpose. GMAT is not required, guys. So what is required? Statement of purpose, the most important part. OK, and this is not just about catch. Choose any school across the globe and Google. What is the weightage of statement of purpose in applications? It's 25%. 20% is your letter of recommendation. 25% is your interview. So 70 to 75 percent is SOP, LOR and your interview. OK, so this is done. Then click on next. And now it will be very quick. Here you need to upload your documents. Resume, you already have it. ID card would be your passport or any other national ID. Somebody join then. Let me accept. Then copy of last diploma. It would be your degree. Transcript of grades. OK, this is for everyone. You do not need transcripts just like you need it in the US. Whatever degree you have, whatever mark sheets you have, scan it and upload it. That's it. OK, the next question is school certificate. It's the same thing as last diploma. So you would be uploading your degree. OK, your degree here. Yes, your degree here. I have and so, oh, so so we apply our our diploma twice, right? Yeah. yeah. OK, and there are students who would be in their final year of undergrad. They would not have their degree. In that case, you apply with the previous degree you have class 12th. 
and people who are applying for undergrad, they would not even have class 12th. So they can apply with class 11th. OK, so last tip. And then English test, as I said, IELTS, TOEFL, Cambridge test or MOI. Either of that is fine. A document. What is MOI? It's a one page paper with your college letterhead saying Anirudh studied in English medium. That's it. One line, their logo, their name details. Then click on next. I don't have anything, so I won't upload anything. I'll simply click on next. And then are you coming from a partner university? Most of you would not be coming. Partner university is basically for students who are coming from exchange programs. You simply click no. And then yes. OK, now you were talking about La Yara merit scholarship, and this is for everyone. Students who want a scholarship. As I said, early bird, early bird, you don't need to do anything. Go ahead, click on no, submit it. You will get it before February. But if you want 4000 euros of merit scholarship, I'll answer your questions. Just let me explain that you click on yes. And then here you write 300 words essay. And I'll explain what to write. Why you extracurricular skills? Gold medals, anything. Yeah, hockey team captain. Or Olympiads. Uh, multilingual, maybe you speak three, four languages. It may be a GMAT or a GRE. You understand none of that is required, but if you have it, it's going to help you in your application. And please don't write the way I wrote. I just wrote keywords. You don't have to write keywords. You have to explain 300 words essay. I see three raised hands. Yara, Harsh and Anirudh. I start with Yara. Um, I did not receive the page where about uh, where about the validation and the merit scholarship. So while I was applying to today, I did not receive this page. What should I do? Absolutely fine, Yara. So this this was the first day of application. So there there must be some technical glitches. So what you would do okay. is, as you can see on my screen, now it's completely resolved. So you can either delete that account, apply again, or you create a new account with a new email ID. Can you show us how to how you delete your account by the end of the Zoom call? I'll, I'll try to show that. If it is not possible, then you simply create a new email ID. OK. OK. All right. Anirudh. So I, I had two questions. One yeah. was you mentioned something about the a cage test uh, during the fair. Could you yeah. like? So cage no? test is a written test only for MIM. People who want to go for MB or MIM, they only have to take KEDGE test, not any other student. And this is why you don't see the MIM in the list yet. So for MIM, KEDGE test would be a separate application. OK, so for all those who want to apply for MIM, just let me know on WhatsApp. I'll send you the link for KEDGE test and I'll let you know when the application is open for KEDGE test. OK, all right. So, uh, I, I, uh, there was another yes. question. Uh, 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 there are some of some of the information is not available in my application, so should I like? Is there a way to delete the application, I'll tell you, or do I'll I just start you. a new application? I can understand you are facing the same issue as Yara because some of you created your account today morning and you were not able to do it because there were some technical glitches. Now there are no technical glitches, so I'll try to see if you can delete your application. If by the end of this session, if you're not able to delete this application, I simply suggest you to create a new email ID and create your own account. Okay, a okay. new account. Yeah, just one small thing. Uh, there is an option for a new application though. Yeah, so, do so I you just... can create new application simply. Huh, so, I, so I can just leave it as it is and just start Absolutely. a new application. Yeah, right. we'll, we'll take you. care of it in the applications. Yes, yeah. uh, Harsh. Yeah, uh, so uh, can you move to the previous slide and can you explain uh, the last two questions? The MOI something, right? The question, the attachment page. Oh, okay. Attachment. I'm not sure if I can go back. Uh, if I go back, probably so it, has, it will be refreshed, but I can explain it to you. MOI is basically medium of instruction letter that you need to upload in the English test section. And this will be provided by my university. Uh, by last university. Course. Yes. Yeah. And for uh, and for the school certificate, it uh, we should upload the twelve certificate. School certificate, copy of last diploma, both are degrees. Your last degree. If you have undergrad degree, upload it. If you have class 12th degree only, then upload that. OK, so your last degree should be uploaded in both the sections. My last degree is PGDM. So upload your PGDM. OK, all right. OK, all right, perfect. So once you are done with this, click on next. 
and OK, now it's showing an error message because uh, of what that the default management is set up. OK, it's showing an error message because I did not upload any of the documents. I just left that blank just to explain that to you. So let's click on finish. And this goes on to the last page. OK, so that's what that was the entire application process. I'll explain again. First page was personal information. Second was languages. Third was um, academic qualifications, then SOP, which is your motivation and the list of uploading documents. That's it. And then the merit essay. Once you complete that, there is something else as well, which is called the application fees. You have to pay an application fees of 120 euros to complete your application. Only then it would be submitted. It showed an error to me because obviously I did not upload any documents. So keep your documents ready before you upload it. And then there is an application fee. Before I answer your question, let me show you how would that page look like to you because I took a screenshot in the morning. Right. I hope you can see my screen. You see the screenshot? Yes, we can okay. see your screen. So this is the screenshot of my application payment page. This is the final page which says, hey Priya, you are applying for international business. You have to uh, show, uh, you know, pay 120 euros. So what you guys have to do as I said, all the students who met us during the fairs, all the students who are applying in November, all these two students would be getting an application fee waiver. OK, there is no application fee, fee waiver usually. You know, I never got an application fee waiver. When I applied in 2015, yeah, my salary was probably three times just the application fees. I still had to pay the application fees. But you guys have the waiver for all the students who met us during the fairs different fairs campus france begin any fair and the second is if you're applying in the month of november you would be getting an application fee so what you need to do is basically take a screenshot of this page this is going to be the final page okay you this would be the last page once you upload all the documents or simply copy this file number you see file number c20220002271 right Either of that, you take a screenshot of this page or simply the um, application ID and WhatsApp it to me, email it to me and mention, hey Prayag, I met you during the Campus France Fair or as you said in the first webinar that applications are waived off until November 30. This is my application ID. Can you wave it off for me? And it will be waived off within 24 hours. So you don't have to pay anything to submit your application. That is it. I think we are done with the presentation. We are done with the, um, the application. We are done with all the information. Now let's move to Q&A. Any questions? Yes, Maitri. Um, yeah, I noticed in the entire process there was no uh, place where we have to submit the LOR. Yes, uh, LOR document is not uh, the option is not there to upload your document. I will check with the admissions team today and I'll let you know. OK, okay. so. L O R. I have taken a note. However, there's one more option that you can do uh, last year as well, because this is something you can do. Uh, and I'm not sure if admission team would be creating a tab. What you can do is you can merge documents. For example, sometimes when students um, upload, let's say a degree, then you can mention degree PDF, L O R PDF, and you can merge it using Google. Right and mention degree plus L O R and then you upload it. Your L O R automatically goes to the jury. Oh, thanks. Perfect. Uh, who else? Devanjali. Um, so under program selection, there's no option for international BBA. I can only see MSc is there. Yes, international BBA is not there yet. Uh, hopefully by this weekend, I BBA would be there. Oh, OK, so I just open it in a week then, I guess. As soon as it is open, you are in the WhatsApp group of aspirants. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll simply post in the aspirants group. Right now we are open for 17 programs. We have around 20, 17 are open. So I'll let okay. you know in the group as soon as the IBB opens as well. OK, sir, thank you. No problem. Uh, Maitri. I think Maitri already is answered, right? OK, <laughs> Harsh, Akshay, anybody? Uh, hello. Yeah, yes. uh, you said me in the fair that I need to send you the resume for this meeting, right? For yeah. the uh, Master of Science in Sustainable yeah. Finance. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, is is that a process or what? Like, okay. All right. So I usually ask all the students to send their CVs to me for evaluation, 
right? It's not a mandatory process. I'll tell you why we usually do that because there is an application fees, right? Some of you are students, some of you are working. Yeah, I'm not sure how much money you make, but there is an application fee. And when you submit the application, you're also paying 120 euros, right? A lot of times what happens is students submit their application and they get the email. Hey, I'm sorry, you're not eligible, right? You, you applied to the wrong program and their application fees is non-refundable. I don't want you to lose on the application fees. So it's not a mandatory step for you to, you know, send your CVs to me because I usually don't evaluate it. What I usually do is I usually ask students to send their CVs to me. So I evaluate it and then I send it to the program director. Then we get two green signals. Then in case you are rejected just because of eligibility, you can always tell you guys eligible, you know, evaluated my CV. Right, so you can't say that I'm not eligible. Of course, there can be rejection reasons because of interview, because of SOP, because of LOR. But I assure you, after evaluation, there would be no rejection, at least on the basis of eligibility. Right, so that's why we usually recommend students to send their CVs to me for evaluation. My email ID is already there in the group description of WhatsApp group of aspirants. Just simply send me a CV. And when you send your CV, just mention, hey, Priyag, my name is so and so. I want to apply for international business 2023. Can you evaluate your, my CV? Today evening, right before the session, I evaluated five CVs. So not a mandatory step, but you're welcome to do that. All right, okay. thanks. Perfect. Uh, anybody else who has any question now, you can unmute Hi, yourself. Priyag. Yes. Hi, Hello. Hi, Priyag. Shibu with you. Yes, Shibu. Yeah, um, uh, how about the um, application for business transformation for sustainability? Is it open? Uh, I'm not sure. Did you see that in the list? Uh, 17 programs are open, so I don't remember if trans sustainability is open. Um, what I'll do is I'll check it again. <laughs> I'll anyway share the recording yeah. with you so you can check and I'll um, let you know in the group if it is open or not. But 17 applications okay. are open, so it's highly probable that it's open as well. Okay, let me check also. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, one more, uh, you told us the regarding the work experience, we need to mention only the last one, recent one, right? Yeah. If the recent one, because minimum, I think we need four years of experience, right? Yeah. And the mean uh, recent one, I have I have changed my company, so recent one I have only two years. Yeah. So how can I mention four years? I uh, know, but we also need your CV, right? So you would anyway mention yeah. the same in your CV. Yeah, in CV it's it's mentioned completely. Yeah. So so the thing That's is, fine, huh? I'll, I'll explain how does that work for M two. For M one, it's very easy, right? You go ahead, yeah. apply, interview, result. M two. Yeah. When you apply for M two, and people who have work experience, people who have a mm -hmm. four year degree, there is no problem, right? People okay. who have a three year degree and less, or probably let's say five years of experience, and then they want to apply for M two there would be a process called VAPP. It's called Validation of Personal and Professional Experience. It's very simple. Okay. It's a form, right? That form would be emailed to you. You just need to enter all your work experience and details just like you do it in your CV. And then you send it back to the school, okay? It's yeah. called VAPP process. It's only for people who have a three-year degree and five years of work experience and still want to apply for M2. Okay, so okay. don't worry. Even in the application form, you don't have the option to, uh, you know, mention all the jobs. We would anyway mm -hmm. check your CV and we would check the VAPP form that you will fill. Yeah, so in my case, I have masters already, so it won't be a problem for me. For there is no problem at all. You should have told me in the beginning, no? <laughs> okay. All right, all right okay. perfect. So, a couple of important information for all of you. As I said, applications are open, but do not rush. Okay, there is there is no race going on, as I said. Take your time. It's your master's, right? So invest your time. Take a week. Take two weeks. In fact, if you want to take three months, take it. But before February 2028, uh, sorry, uh, February 2023, apply. I'll tell you why. Uh, last year, there were two students, one, two friends. One applied on February 28 and one applied after midnight. So it was not February 28. It was 1st of March, right? And you know, he missed on the app, uh, early bird discount. So please don't do that, number one. Number two, timeline. Once you submit your application, it takes at least two weeks, two to three weeks to get an interview call, okay? Because you're not just applying from Lebanon or India. There are hundreds of other nationalities applying as well. Kedge is the largest French business school. We have 100 plus nationalities. So two to three weeks to evaluate your CV and your application. Within two to three weeks, you will get an interview call. 
interview call is always going to be on Microsoft Teams. OK, you don't need to download Microsoft Teams. There would be a link. Click on that link. There would be a time. The time would be mentioned in French time zone. OK, so if it is mentioned 10 a.m., your interview is four and a half hours after 10 a.m. in India, in Lebanon. You can just check. Uh, yeah, OK, so click on Teams, take the interview. 30 to 40 minutes, it will be academic interview. And after that, you get your result. Your result would again take one to two weeks. So altogether, five weeks is the average standard time for you to get the result. OK, let's say Maitri and Anirudh both applied. OK, Maitri got accepted. Anirudh, unfortunately, it won't happen. Don't worry, but let's say you get rejected. Or let's say Prayag applied and Prayag got rejected. OK, and then Maitri would have two weeks to accept the offer. OK, or reject the offer. Right. If she accepts the offer, she would have to do two things. Sign the contract, pay the deposit. How much is the deposit? At catch, the deposit is the lowest. For MIM, it's 800 euros. And deposit is part of your tuition fees. OK, so MIM, 800 euros. MSC is 1,000 euros. IBBA, 2,000 euros. So it's very simple. You just need to remember for your program, not all the programs. For MSC, that's 1,000 euros. So my three signed the contract. My three paid 1,000 euros. Then she got housing e uh, email. She, you know, uh, just like booking.com, logs in on housing.catch.edu, checks all the options, books the housing nearest to the campus, looks, the, looks at the pictures, facilities, books the housing, pays one month advance, gets the housing contract, gets a loan, a education loan in India with catch tied up banks, 26 Indian banks, and applies for visa. Visa starts only 90 days prior in India. Yara, I suggest you to check in Campus France Lebanon how early it starts, 90 days prior in India. So if you're going in June intake, it starts in March. If you're going for September intake, it starts in June. OK, and that's it. Nothing else needs to be done. For Prayag, he got rejected. So he has another option to apply for a second program. So if I got rejected for IB, I'll probably apply for supply chain or marketing. And then the same drill again. OK, so our Kedge India office would assist you in everything in your applications, in your housing, in your visa process, in your loan process. And for all of this, you don't have to go to a consultant unless you really want to go to a consultant. Please go ahead and do that. But with Kedge India office, we would be assisting in everything. I would not be writing your essays. I would not be writing speaking for you in your interviews, but I would be guiding you at each and every stage until you fly out of India to France. For example, I'm going to France next, you know, this this weekend and I'll, I'm very sad that I'll be you know, in flight when India plays Pakistan in the World Cup final, but I would be in the flight. So I would be uh, going to Marseille campus and what I would do is uh, I would be doing a webinar next week with some students from India and I'll also try to find some Lebanese students for you, Yara, in Marseille campus next week in Bordeaux Thank campus. You, no problem. And following week in Paris campus. So I'll connect you with students based in Marseille, Bordeaux and Paris, also with alumni based across these campuses. And you probably also get chance to, you know, look at the campus and interact with faculty as well. So I'll, I'll be doing that, right? So that's that. Uh, once again, thank you so much, everyone, for this wonderful session. Yes, Yara, you want to say something? I'm sorry, I had a lot of uh, questions, but yeah. uh, um, I yeah. So I created three three applications just to test the uh, yeah. system because I faced uh, I I faced a technical issue in each one. So now yeah. I cannot create a new application and choose my chosen program because yeah. the system won't let me apply for two programs in the same year, and. I don't I need to delete my account and start all okay. over again. What I'll do is what I'll suggest is yeah, I shared the email ID of your rep, Alice, right? You just email Alice, right? And tell her that you created three accounts and all three had technical glitches and she will delete all three for you. That is option number one. OK, option number two is okay. you create a new email ID on Gmail or wherever you want and then start again. OK, these are the two options that you have. Um, and I have a I have a question. Can we pause the pause the application and go back to let, let's say the yeah. second day or third yeah. day? We can do that. And if we if we click finish by by mistake, and can we go back to the other stages? 
if you click yeah. if you click on finish by mistake let your official representative know and they will help you in you know reopening that application for you okay for okay. example i manage southeast asia and alice yeah. manages um, middle east so you can just reach out I to alice stuff. yeah and yeah, maybe what we can do is uh, after this session as well you can we have the we are anyway connected on whatsapp so give me a call we'll discuss one on one as well if you have more questions yara okay Okay. Thank you so much, Priya. No this problem. was very helpful. Thank you. Same here. Same here. Yes, Anirudh, anything? Yeah, I just want to double check. You said that uh, as a student, bachelor student, I don't need to upload my transcript or anything because yeah. you said I have to upload the latest one that I've received. So no need for transcripts. So as I said, Government of India, Government of France signed an MOU that each of those degrees are recognized in each of those country. That MOU was signed in 2018, 17-18. So there is no transcript needed. Whatever degree you have, just scan it and upload it. All right. So uh, technically, my bachelor's would be my qualifying degree. So I don't have to upload anything for that, right? You are, like, since I don't have it right now. You have engineering degree with you? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't. I uh, so I'm doing my bachelor's right now. I'm in my third year. I'm doing a BA. So, right. so you would upload your class twelfth degree and your second year mark sheet. Yeah, that is what I wanted to know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Akshay, you had any question? Ah. Hi, Prayag. Um, what about the acceptance ratio of applications? Any general okay. idea? Yeah. So again. Uh, I would give you a, a approximate idea and I'll tell you which are the mm -hmm. toughest programs to get in at Kedge. Okay? okay, a fair bit of idea. Acceptance rate at Kedge is around 20 to 25 percent. Okay, every year and I'm talking about Southeast Asia. I'm not talking about Lebanon because I don't have idea about that. We have the regional representative there. So for Southeast Asia is around 20 to 25 percent. I'll tell you why. Um, because all the Kedge programs are ranked among the top 100 worldwide. How do you check that? For example, there is a ranking in Europe. So first of all, there is Financial Times, there is QS, and then there is a ranking in U uh, France called Ed Universal. E D U. Okay, let me just show it to you, and you'll see. Okay, I hope you can see my screen. Let me open Google and let me simply write Ed Universal Kedge Supply Chain Management, and you will see what is the ranking of Kedge Supply Chain. See. Get supply chain is ranked fifth worldwide. Okay. Number one is MIT. Number two is Polymi, Italy. Number three is Centrum. Uh, where is it? Peru. Number four is Purdue in the US. And number five is Kedge Business School Supply Chain. Similarly, you can also check the rankings for different programs as well. So all of the Kedge programs, I can give you rankings of some. QS Kedge marketing is worldwide 23 by QS. International business is worldwide 41 by QS. Supply chain is worldwide mm -hmm. five by Ed Universal. So all of these ranks, uh, you know, uh, programs are very, very prestigiously ranked. So that's why it's very tough to get into these programs. And I'll tell you one more reason. All of these programs are diverse programs and international programs. So let's say if you're going to supply chain, you would only have 50 students and you can't have 50 Indians or 50 Lebanese or 50 Chinese, right? You'd have five Lebanese, five Indians, six Chinese, seven French, so there is always a quota which is given to a certain country. Otherwise, it becomes a very Indian class or a Lebanese class or a Chinese class, right? So that's why it's pretty tough to get into these programs unless you are applying early in yeah. round one. So if you're applying in November or December, you're kind of applying for all the seats. But if you're applying in March or April or May, all these seats get yeah. filled very easily, right? Okay, okay. Thank you. Perfect. Any other questions? Thank you. All right, perfect. Um, so what I'll do I is, have uh, one question. yeah. Um, uh, when is the last date till uh, the application fee gets waived off? Uh, November 30. Okay, thank you. All right. So okay, first of all, thank you so much, guys, for joining in. Wonderful talking to you. Thanks to all those as well who did not, you know, come on camera. But special thanks to those people who came on camera. I understand. I'm just kidding. It's absolutely fine. The most important thing is, you know, talking to each other. I understand you guys are at your home. It's quite late in India as well. Meanwhile, as I said, these info sessions we do every two to three weeks, right? So it's not that now we are going to meet next year. No, next week I'm in France. We'll do in Marseille. We'll do one in Bordeaux and we'll do one in Paris. So good thing is that in the next three weeks, you're going three more such sessions. Now 
you don't have to wait for these sessions to get any information. You can call, you can schedule a consultation, you can WhatsApp, you can email anytime. People who live in Delhi and CR, you can also come to the Catch India office and we look forward to meeting you very soon. Okay. So once again, thank you so much, everyone. Take good care of yourselves. I'm very happy that now there is no, there is, but you know, usually there is no pandemic now. So of course, all the classes are on campus. This is the first batch going on at Kedge right now, which is on campus after two years. So everybody is very happy. Internships are going on. Students are there on campus. All of you would be in France next year. Uh, so once again, thank you so much. Take good care of yourself and um, God bless. See you very soon in France. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matri. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.